This is this the third time? This no, this is the, the, no, this is the this, third because this is the, Ralphie was the first. We did it the, twice. That was the second, and now this is the third. No, it this was Ralphie, and it withdrew, and we yes. said cut, and then drew again. It was drew twice. So it was four. This is the fourth time we tried to record this video. Okay. I'm gonna say this again. Y'all gonna see this in the bloopers, but I'm gonna say this again. I had loaded tater tots at my station. Tater tots topped with chili, beef chili, and um, uh, melted cheese, bacon, sour cream, and uh, scallions. And the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because I have nothing else to say. I'm done, because this is the Joe hour of Kitchen Chronicles because my honey bear traveled all the way to Itabina, Mississippi. If you ain't heard of it, Itabina. if you ain't heard of it, don't feel bad because ain't no one else ever heard of it. <laughs> Itabina is small. It's a you small know what? No disrespect. Hey, Joe cousins, all of y'all who watch Kitchen Chronicles, <laughs> no disrespect to y'all, but that's the truth. And nobody heard about Itabina. Itabina is a small town in Mississippi. It's where my family is from. Okay, go, Joe. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hey, it's the Joe Hour. Hope oh. we're not talking oh. for an hour. It's not an hour. Mm -mm. Okay, <laughs> maybe five minutes. Here we go. Okay. No, it'll be more like ten. Like ten minutes? Yeah. I'm gonna do my best to try to keep it under five. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. That ain't gonna work. Cause it was so much that Ralphie, happened. Ralphie, can you make me a coffee? Please, please, you please. Know something? All right, go. Ain't nobody got no time for that. <laughs> please, I only had Ooh. one coupe. Oh, I had two. Ooh. I had two. All right, Three? can we? Okay. So, oh God, here we go. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go with this. Here we go. I'm All right, Ralphie, thank you. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> we're we're going to have to start filming other places. For because real. This is just too open. <laughs> oh, my God. So, um,. It'll be enough. It, 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 it was a pleasure to be around my family. As some of y'all, well, as most of y'all know, my aunt passed away. Um, she was the matriarch of my family. And um, yeah, she was the matriarch. She was the last surviving out of 16 children. And um, yeah, you know, back in the day, they had huge families. Back in the day, they, they didn't have no cable. Honey. And nothing else to do. I mean, we, we were sharecroppers. Honey. As much, as much folks can pick cotton and pick peas. That was. I mean, you had as many children as you possibly could. But anyway, um, she was the last surviving out of uh, 16 children. And she, like I said, she was the matriarch. And I traveled down south to. Um, That's Carly. Can you give me ice coffee? And. Um, <laughs> <laughs> give me a salsa water. Okay. So, um. You know, of course, I had a blast with my family. Just a blast. Uh, absolute stone gas, as my mother was saying. A stone gas blast with my family. And I'm telling you, I haven't laughed in so... I mean, I'm talking about like that gut wrench laugh. Like, it, like you had sit-ups. <laughs> That's how much I laughed and, and tee -hee with my family. And of course... It wouldn't be Kitchen Chronicles. If we ain't talk about no food. If we did not talk about the food. So most of y'all know what a repast is. For those who don't know what a repast is, I'm going to give you a little explanation. A repast is usually a dinner after the funeral or slash burial, depending on the time of the funeral, if it's a day funeral or a night funeral. But most of the time, the repast is after the burial. Right. And um, it's a chance for the family to come together, have dinner, fellowship, talk about good times, laugh, Remember, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Reminisce. Um, yeah, reminisce and all of that good stuff. So we had that moment. We had that, that time and he did send me he did send me a little clip of uh, the food that was at the repast. Um, I wanna insert that because it was the only little clip. It was it was like a third or quarter of what they had. Yes. Go ahead. It was first of all, it was so much food. It was food to the point where it was like you ever teared up when you saw so much like Honey, just it was tears of were joy. You, were you at our first um when we were at Aneo, when we were at Aneo and we had our first picnic? No, I wasn't. You weren't there for that. you weren't there? Mm -mm. 
Joe, it was so, it was, it was so much food. Me and Pastor Ken, hey Pastor Ken, I'm gonna tag you in this one. Me and Pastor Ken just sat there like this. Like, this is, it's unreal. It was unreal the amount of food we had. Yes. Sister Brenda alone. I know, I know she brought the Honey? Camp. She brought Costco. But so I understand what you say. Look, as Carly loves me. I guess Carly. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Selsi. So yeah, I understand, but go ahead. So um it was fried chicken. Baked chicken. I've never had this, but apparently it's called rice casserole. And it was rice with ground beef in it with tomatoes. And I think it might have been cream of mushroom or cream of chicken, something like that, but it was creamy and almost a little borderline cheese. It was so good. Sounds I've so good. never had this in my life. It was delicious. I got a, I tasted, I was trying to figure it out with my taste buds, but I think my aunt knows how to make it. It was potato salad. It was black eyed peas, lima beans, field peas, uh, barbecue pork. It was, did they have, they have pigtails in no, they didn't have pigtails. Oh, but they had um, chitlins. No, no, no chitlins. But it was just oh, gosh. the lemon lemon cake. It was pound cake. Let me explain something to y'all. Sweet to potato pie. Let me explain something to y'all. Down south folk don't know anything about. I can't believe it's not butter or. Uh, margarine or butter substitutes they use lard oleo butter and yes it may not it may not be good for you and may clog sure. an artery but that is sure. the, the best food you will ever sure taste is good. in show sure is good y'all ever heard of show sure is you was down south a little bit sure. Sure. A little bit too long. I just had a you okay, so have you ever heard of a Kool-Aid pickle? Okay, boom, here we go. My cousins, my cousin Chrissy, hey Chrissy, she was telling me that down there they have a Kool-Aid pickle. What's a Kool-Aid pickle? Glad you asked. So you know how you go to your local corner store bodega and they have the pickles in a jar. But instead of it being in the regular green pickle brine, it's in Kool-Aid. It's in different flavored Kool-Aids. Grape, strawberry, tropical. Uh, uh, what's the other flavors of Kool-Aid? Lemonade. Lemon. Red. It's pickles. Pickles. You know, that's what they say. What flavor is that? Red. Red. It's pickles and Kool-Aid. Did you taste one of them? No, I didn't. Would you have tasted one of them? No. But I just wanted to... My, she was just telling me about it. She had so much passion about it. Apparently, this is a big trend. Even Tykel was telling me. He said, I heard of that. I think they do that in Baltimore. I don't, they don't do that in New York. I have not seen it. And for that. good reason. I have not seen it. I don't know what a cool, But I would be... I wouldn't try it. But I mean, it. that sounds amazing. Who, whoever, okay, so if y'all are out there in, in, in Kitchen Chronicle land, somebody is, post up a picture everywhere. of a pickle Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid pickle. You see how excited he just got? He just said the, he said the word for So they got, a, they, got a, they got a gas station down there called Double Quick, and Double Quick has Kool-Aid slushies. Remember, remember just a little while ago I said they don't know anything about I can't believe it's not butter or anything like that. They don't know nothing about sugar substitutes. They're going to make you some Kool-Aid. And it's going to be Kool-Aid that tastes like syrup because that's how sweet it is. That di that diabetes Kool-Aid. Diabe diabetes Kool-Aid. Diabetes. Um, diabetes. Tell about your brunch. Okay, so Sunday I made brunch for my family. Because, you know, they all watch Kitchen Chronicles and they wanted some of that fancy stuff that we cook up here in the north. So I decided to make a frittata. It's like, that ain't nothing but an egg pie. You trying to get all fancy. What is that, cuz? It's a frittata. Ain't nothing but an egg pie. 
<laughs> man, what I tell you, but it was it was a blessing to cook for my family. It was just an amazing experience. I made French toast. I made frittata. I made a potato you make, you make, squash hash. Yes, with um, leeks. I bought some leeks, and I crushed some bacon up in it. Did you make? Um, you said you made French toast. Did you make homemade jam? No, I made a strawberry reduction though. So you made a strawberry compote. I sure did. Boom. And what they I call that jelly? <laughs> Preserves. Preserves. Because <laughs> you know what we do is fancy up with something that's really. I mean, and that's exactly what it is. She got loaded potatoes and she. And they, they, it's that, it's, it's, it's that cheese fondue. It's that cheese fondue. It was cheese sauce. It's cheese sauce. He made. Fatata ain't number the egg pie. Ain't nothing but a, a fancy egg pie with with dressings. With his fancy <laughs> with fixings. That's what chefs do. Yeah. Hint, hint. That's what we do. That's what we do. We make it sound fancier than it really than is. what it really is. But you know what? It was. It really was an honor and a privilege. And you I just needed, wanna, You needed that. And I needed that. And I just wanna just you know tell y'all if y'all have older family members, cherish them seriously. Cherish your older family to sit around them and just let them go let them just talk and you know know your family history because I mean my aunt we 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 sat around her people sat around her but you know I don't think we got enough from her you know what I'm saying and you know now that she's gone you know we're all like I mean we've come together more close than ever to the point where, I mean, we're already planning like a family get together, a family reunion next year. And I'm telling you, we're all trying to get the information. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just encouraging y'all, please, if y'all have any older family members, you know, get as much out of them as you possibly, just listen to them. I mean, they have so much wisdom and so much knowledge. And they got and all the family aunt, secrets. Honey. All the family secrets. And my great aunt, you know, she was so funny because she, she didn't hold, she didn't bite a tongue. <laughs> Is that where you get it from? You know, come to think about it, now I know that my whole family has no filter. Honey, it must have been a riot sitting around that table. I wish I was there. My I whole wish family, I was we don't there. have no filter. But I, I think I get it honestly. I get it 100% honest. So, y'all, that's how my weekend went. It was, it was good to get away. I mean... You know, despite the circumstances, it was still good to just be around my family and just love them and, and just fellowship and eating and sit down with your family members too. If you have, you know, if you don't have that conventional family, you have friends that, you know, you eat with on a regular basis. Sit down with them. Just sit across with somebody. Take that time I used to, to sit down with people and eat. I used to have um, um, soul food Sundays at my house. Um, every Sunday, I would cook, and all of my kids' friends would just magically be in the neighborhood on Sunday. Magically, they could they, they could be living in Brooklyn. Ding dong, all oh, in the neighborhood. But you live in Brooklyn, you live in Queens. Wow. At the Are same time, there? every Sunday, just happen to be in the neighborhood. I mean, there would be times where I have at least like 15, 20 people in my house, and that's why I cannot cook for two people. I'm always cooking for large amounts of people. Anybody shows up, I can feed. I can feed them, and. That was a time that we had to sit around and talk about the yeah. week, and you know their friends were their friends. Their friends, my my older kids' friends would say, you know what? I don't have this at home. My mother don't cook. Like your mother still cooks from scratch. Like they were amazed and they loved just sitting around and laughing and talking and eating. Just sit with, you, have a meal. It's important. It's re it really is. It's not just about food. It's about coming together. It's really, it really is important. I wish I could have a social Sundays again. We'll have that chance. Yeah, we will. When we get our place. Oh, we finished talking? You should put little stars. Like, <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> My eyebrows are on sleek. Yeah. I'm sorry. Off topic. I need some new hair. All right. <laughs> I just went. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Of Thank Kitchen you for Chronicles. watching, y'all. Like, subscribe, <laughs> post, comment, whatever. Just let us know. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Uh, you said Twitter. 
Twitter. Twitter too. But thank you for watching. We really do appreciate it. We do, and we love you for it. And um, y'all are ride or die fans. Ride or die. All the love. Love, peace, and <laughs> got the black eyed peas right there. Look at that. Llama beans, macaroni and cheese. Oh, you, oh, you being recorded.